Hey, this is YBR with Beam&G Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at a map called The Rotting Grounds, and the description here says, where everything goes to rot. Watch your step, and don't forget, there's no leaving these four walls anymore. And we have many places we can start at, and we're not going to start at the default location. Instead, we're going to start at the gate, because to me, this is the best place to start. And we start off with really poor visibility, but you can just barely make out the gate. And the gate is absolutely massive. You could fit a plane through this thing, no problem. So here's like the truck, and there's the gate. To give you another perspective, how about we go to the top of the gate, and then there's the truck way down there. Just the biggest gate I've ever seen. And it's never going to open, as the description says. So there's not much we could do here, but we can swap out the truck. We're going to go with the Marauder. Because in terms of stock vehicles, this one is probably the best match for the environment. And you're thinking, what environment? I can't see nothing. Don't worry, the poor visibility is just in this small area. Once we leave this area, we have quite excellent visibility. Before we drive over there, though, I want to take a look at this sign behind us. It says, gate closed for foreseeable future. Fend for yourselves. So this really doesn't sound like the place you'd want to be. And if I had to describe it as simply as possible, it is the dump in a Mad Max-like world. There are a lot of roads that crisscross all over the place. It's a very large, pretty open area considering what it is. And there's no way I'm gonna be able to drive on all of these roads because of that. So we're just gonna be driving a selection of them. Some of them are less obvious than others. Like this is actually a road over here. You can't quite tell when you look at it. But if we drive along a little bit, you'll see a really obviously placed ramp. And now you know you're on the right track. Although I don't know if I have enough speed to hit this jump. Come on, truck. Oh no! Just barely not enough speed. I need like a few more feet and we would have cleared it. So even though this truck looks really good in this environment, we might need something a little bit faster. So I'm gonna pull this thing all the way back to the main road and we're gonna swap it for some more speed. I still want a pickup truck though because I want that off-road capabilities. So how about we go with the D15 off-road because you don't expect this, but this thing has 500 hundred horsepower <laughs> like you would never expect that truck to have that much but it does so we'll spawn it up in a nice bright orange to counter the really dark colors that we have around us it's like i'm the king of this dump everybody sees my bright orange truck and they know to look out because bright orange paint is rare here and can we make this jump this time of course i can because i'm the king of this place except i know you guys like them crashes so let's go take a look at this boat over here in a violent manner and this boat's pretty cool because it's one of the boats that are already in the game on like Jungle Rock Island, but it's been modified a little bit. It looks really deteriorated and half of the boat's actually missing. It's in that bad of a state. And it's just kind of crazy and awesome to imagine like how did this boat get here and why is that light still on? What's going on? And the only person who knows what's going on is the king, but I'm not going to reveal my secrets of the boat. Instead, we're just going to bring this truck back a little bit until about right here and then we're gonna go to the left a little bit of a tight maneuver but my truck has the capabilities to do just that i'm gonna slow it down a little bit over here because i don't want to fall off because this is kind of a tight road and you see all kinds of interesting looking debris all over the place like, there's lots of trash and blocks for sure but then there's also things like that where it's just like that's a part of a building there somehow so neat and then over to our left we have some towers like those ones over there and they actually make a noise so I'm going to let you listen to it while I take a closer look at the tower itself. So I thought they were pretty cool because they had a custom noise and they had fire coming out of them and stuff. And this is one of the cooler places because there's two of them side by side. Which is also a place you could spawn at. This is the other place I almost spawned at because it has the boat near it and I thought the boat was pretty cool. But now nah, we're done here. We're going to try to get out of here without destroying our truck, which, of course, the king can do. The king only wrecks the truck when he wants to, and I wanted to wreck it right there. <laughs> it's funny. I do the jump. Flawless. No damage at all. I drive along the side of the road a little too close. Up, oh, there goes my whole rear axle. It's completely gone on the left side. I'm still driving somehow. I don't know how long we can last, but we're going to keep going. And you see all these blue things here and there? Those are just tarps with some extra suspicious trash under it. We can drive right out of there, no problem. They're a little bumpy. And I am not sure if we're gonna be able to make it up this hill because this is a pretty steep hill for a three-wheeled vehicle. But I'm gonna try my best for as long as we can. And well, oh, we're pretty much driving on front-wheel drive at this point. 
So it's not gonna make it. We'll just freshen it up a tiny bit now. We should be able to make it if it'll accelerate. There we go. I was holding the accelerator and it just didn't know how to get into gear properly. You know, this is steep enough actually where I could put it in a low range. Then I'll have to worry about that situation we just had happen, happen ever again. We should be good to go. Assuming the transmission are upshift as well, it needs to do both. Uh, we're cruising along pretty easily through here, but this is a tight road and there are some steep angles on it where you gotta be careful, like right here. We're pretty close to the edge. So I gotta make sure I don't fall off there. Got some freedom right here, nice big wide area. I mean, I call this big and wide. It is compared to what I was just driving on, but compared to a lot of things, it's not that wide. I like how far we have already risen. Like, we were driving a pretty steep road. And we're almost done with the steep area, so we can swap back to high range for normal driving. I think we'll be okay through here. It's still kind of thin, but not as steep, so high range should be good. Yep, we're fine. And then on to a big fat road that feels so easy to drive on. There's so much room. You could do a donut on this and not even fall off. Look at that. It's so easy. I think I'll stay on this a little bit. Easy drives are relaxing. Plus, easy drives gives me the chance to find good places to crash. Like, you see that hill up there? We're going to try to, like, ride off the side of the hill. Here we go. And that's... Sure, why not? That was a pretty cool flip. And now we did a nice wheelie. And we should still be moving. We still have like 60 miles per hour of momentum. But I don't feel like driving a beat up pickup truck because I'm the king. We're going to wreck it completely. And that is the spot it will stay for the rest of its life. It's just now part of the trash. And I thought there was a road, but it isn't. So let's bring this truck back to our road and maybe we could swap it for something else. I think an Ibishu Hopper would be able to drive through this terrain really, really well. So we'll go with the Sport Special. And I'll get it in a really plain color that matches the environment, like light brown. It'll still have that blue decal on it that'll stand out a little bit, but it'll be very brown everywhere else. Like, that's the rare blue paint. You don't get blue paint around here often. They have to make it from melting down tarps or something. And we'll just keep driving along some of these roads. This one looks interesting. We got, like, an arch we could drive through up here. I don't know if it means something, but we're going to drive through it, and, well, there's... Not much of interest on the other side, but it was cool to look at as we drove through it. Oh wait, there's another arch! And this one's more like a square! That means the next one is gonna be like a hexagon, then we're gonna go through an octagon, and it's gonna keep increasing the number of sides until the arch is a perfect circle, right? Like, we're going through a stargate! I guess not. I think that was the end of the arches. I feel like I've almost lost the road, but this, this is definitely road right here, so we'll just drive through this area. Whoa, that road tightens up right there. Oh, this looks like a cool place to fall, though. All right, let's see where the road goes before we fall off of it. Is this, like, just jump off into the trash? No, it does not, but I want to jump off into the trash. So I'm going to park this car right here, and then we're just going to slowly roll it off the edge, just like this, and see what happens to the hopper, because that looks like it'd be interesting. Oh, it's actually able to clear most of the debris. Ah, oh, well, most of the debris. And now, once again, I have become one with the land. I blend in perfectly. Like, if you look at that from afar, it probably does blend in really well with that color. So I'm like, yeah, that blends in great! I don't want to blend in, though. I want to keep driving this, so we'll bring it back up. And we'll keep on driving, but actually, before we do that, you can see the wall. Remember the door? Well, most doors are attached to walls. That's the wall it's attached to. It's even bigger than the door. It's huge! And is that like a ramp that goes up to the wall? No, that doesn't look like a ramp. What is that, though? Uh, is it a pipe or is it a stick? Is that just like a striped stick from like a, a windmill or something? I guess. See, there's all this interesting debris all over the place. Like, what is that thing? I don't know, but it looks neat. And we could try to drive on the wall, I guess, if we wanted to. Can we clear the debris, though? Yes, we can. I have no idea where I'm going, but I'm climbing the wall. We're going to be free! Except, you know, there's... Still a lot of wall to try to get over after this, so we're not going to be free. But we can go and smash into the area below us at probably 100 plus miles per hour easy. Save the spot up here, just in case I don't hit the debris in a cool way. So we'll do a quick 180, save this spot. How about we do a fast car for this, because we don't need off-road capabilities. So we'll just grab ETKK series, and we'll get a bright red one. And it's like, how dare the car be bright red? In this environment, there is no such thing as bright red. It shall be wrecked. Because there's some crazy people 
in this area. So they jump the car off the wall, and this is what happens to it. Well, I thought it would fly a little bit, to be honest. Instead, it just got one splat, and it was dead. I think if we had a different angle, though, we could have had it fly. So let me try another angle. So maybe we'll, like, we'll drive a little bit farther along the wall, and then we dive down. So right about here, we'll go a little bit more downward. And that looks like a good spot right there. That could probably pop us in the air a bit. Yes! That was a lot cooler looking crash to me. Flatten the car nicely, the hood smushed back. And this thing is blending in with the environment. So we'll just leave it there and drive by it and see if it actually blends in or not. I know it is red, so the red might stand out a bit. So, okay, yeah, I see the red over there, but I also see some other red a little bit farther away, so it fits in perfectly. Like that could totally just look like it's part of the map now. Just leave the car behind. It'll destroy your frame rate, but it's fun to do. I'm trying to get down this wall without wrecking the hopper because I still want to drive it some. Hey, look at that. We got a power line. Where does this thing go? Oh, it's going into the red container, which is like some dude's house or something? Oh, it's a tunnel. And there's a light in the tunnel. Wait, I can't see. Weird. There's just this one single light in that tunnel. Why? That's completely unnecessary, but okay. And also, it said in Rust we trust, if you didn't notice that. Well, if you didn't notice that. I'll let you see it again, because I was so distracted by that light. I was like, what is this? So in Rust, we trust. I'm kind of curious now, though. Where is the electricity coming from? Let's see if we can follow the line and see where the electricity is actually being generated at. Is it like from the fires from some of those stacks or what? Let's see here. So I see the electricity kind of going along the road here. I'm going to do my best to keep an eye on it. Okay, I kind of lost it now. Hoping once we drive close enough to it, I'll see it because it's a pretty bright yellow. Okay, there it is. It's going up the hill here, so we'll go up the hill as well. Kind of a cool looking transition piece right here. And where did the electricity go? Okay, I lost track of it again. I see a jump though. That was... <laughs> that was the worst jump I have ever done. That should have been an easy peasy jump and I end up flipping over. Uh, and we're a little bit stuck in the ground. I don't want to do that, so we'll just... Teleport the car a little bit above in the air, and now, just to redeem myself real quickly, this is how you're supposed to do that. See how easy that was? All these stacks of tires all over the place. Ooh, look at that! It's like a destroyed, is this supposed to be a bus? Yeah, that's like a destroyed bus! That's pretty neat! Just like up on tires somehow. How do they do this? Why do they do this? The world may never know. But they will know where the power is coming from, hopefully. I actually do see the cable right here, so we can keep following that along. And it looks like it just kind of goes into this building right here, which almost looks like a bunker. It's so built into the ground. So whatever is in here is generating the electricity. Nobody knows what it is, but it gives you power. There's also a light right there that's shining on the tires. And actually, wouldn't it be cool if we wrecked this thing and then put it on top of the bus? That would look neat. We gotta find a good place to wreck it. Well, there's the start. Oh my goodness, I can't even steer anymore. I wrecked it up that badly. The steering is completely shot. From that little bump, it won't stop going to the left. How did I manage that? That's too wrecked up. We're gonna just freshen this thing up a tiny, tiny bit. Cause that's not what I wanted to do. I was too distracted. I wasn't looking at where I was going and whoops. Mistake was made. Ooh. What is that thing? It's like a big old sheet of metal. Actually, that's all it is. No, it's the top of a house! <laughs> the top of a house here! Just sitting there, whoa. Does like, the ground look like it's moving to you guys, or is that just me? Like, right in this area right here, everything's all distorted. Oh, that's weird. Back to the car, we gotta wreck this thing still. And a house would actually be really good for wrecking your car, probably. You just shoot it off like a ramp. Fortunately, there's not a good run-up to it. So instead, we'll drive along this some more and... Just looking for a good place to dump this thing. Oh, flat tire. But I can still steer. That's what's important. As long as I can still steer, we're going to keep using it. Wrecking it up more. Here's a chance. There we go. That's some good roof damage. Roof damage is the best because you'll still be able to keep driving. Where are we going? I don't know if I'll be able to find the bus again. Oh, hey. Look, we're back where we were. Ha. How funny is that? Which means we could dump it off the road again. This time we'll go a little bit faster and a little bit different angle, and this should be enough to put it on top of the bus. I think it'll look really cool. Oh, I wish the top stayed on though. Oh well. 
find the bus, find the bus. And then we put it right on top of the bus. Oh no, it goes straight through the bus. I did not expect this. So we could cheat it a little bit, say, oh yeah, look, I put my car on top of the bus, except, you know, it's gonna actually fall right through, so it's not exactly gonna work, is it? It was a cool idea, though. Just not every cool idea actually works out. Now we gotta kind of freshen up the car and drive out of here. No, we're stuck. We are really, really stuck. So how about put the car right there? That back can come off, that's fine. Can I still drive good enough? Yeah, it feels like it. All right, let's do this jump again. Here we go, I don't know if I have enough speed this time. Yes, I do, yes, I do. Now we gotta do a quick 180 because I wanna keep driving the way we were driving earlier. And hey, what's that over there? You like a sign or something? What is this? Moab 53, Canyonlands National Park 59, West Rock Canyon? Huh. See, like, there is some interesting debris around this place. You just gotta find it and not get your car stuck. I think something about this area right here happens to get your car stuck, so just be careful about that. Everywhere else, it doesn't seem to be a problem, right? Yeah, it's just that small area, so it's not like it's a big issue or nothing. It's just a tiny thing that happens in a tiny area. Nothing to worry about. We'll keep driving along looking for interesting things because I think I know where we're at and I can find something that looks pretty interesting. We want to go to the right when we get the chance. So like right up here, we want to go right. Is that something interesting down there actually too? What is this thing that's sticking up? Ah, uh, it's not that interesting, is it? Nah, because I can't tell what it is, but over here it's interesting. That is the dome from like a telescope. Just that one is from uh. I think it might actually be on multiple stock maps, but I know it's on Jungle Rock Island. So we're gonna drive up here though, because over here we got something pretty cool to look at. We got this stuff. I don't know what it's actually supposed to be, but it really stands out in this environment because it's so much more brightly colored. It's, I guess like freshly chopped piles of wood for some reason. Or maybe it's like really tanned out blocks of cinder. I have no idea. There's also a part of a castle right there. That's from Jungle Rock Island, kind of like a little hidden area. So now we're going to climb up this. And you're probably wondering, why be out? Where in the world are you going? Just trust me, I know where I'm going. I just don't know if this is the best way to get to where I want to go. I got to back this up a little bit. And, oh, come on, car. Oh, don't do me like this. It's just rolling backwards. Okay, we got to put this to manual mode to be able to move. So, manual mode. And now, look how easy it is to drive. Stupid automatic transmission messing me up and also messing up my entrance to this. I can't go that slow I'm gonna get stuck. I got distracted man. All right, try this again Bring the car back up and then real quickly We got to get it into gear and start accelerating before we roll backwards And I'm gonna kind of drive along the edge right here because it looks a little bit safer than the way I just tried That's actually very very safe And now the reason we are driving over here the X what is under the X? Wouldn't you like to know? Okay, I'll show you. So we're just gonna stick our head straight under this thing as if we were digging, and then what do we see? Two giant rats and the word high. And I do mean giant rats. Those things are huge. They're the size of a car. What is going on with this place? I'm not exactly sure. It might be cursed. We're leaving this area. We do not want to stay here any longer than we have to. I can also put this thing back to arcade mode, hopefully. I gotta do that, and then it just starts to struggle. I was like, come on, arcade mode. You know better than to do that. And ooh, look at this ramp. Look at this ramp. Come on. Get it, get it, get it. I don't think we have enough speed to do anything too much. Yeah. We need to be going fast through there. Is there a better way to enter that thing, or do we just need a fast car? We just need a fast car to be able to hit that jump. All right. I want to hit those jumps. So bring this thing back over here, and we're going to go... With the off-road D15 again, and I'm going to actually upgrade the engine to be a little bit faster. And stop rolling. I see you rolling back there. But as I was saying, I'll upgrade the engine to be a little bit faster if we fail it on this first attempt. But I'll give it one shot without the upgrades. And I felt like I was too close to make it from where I started, so I came up the hill a bit. And this looks like a decent enough angle to try to attack this ramp. That looks good, looks good. Hold on. We got it, we got it. Just got to maneuver a little bit to line my truck up. And for the next jump, I don't know. Will I have enough speed for it? Let's see. I'm flooring it, sliding all over the place. Oh, we're good. That wasn't that big of a jump anyways. Awesome. And I guess we could just drive down here. There's not like some secret area or nothing. It's just another route you can go. 
This looks interesting though, really long ramp. And it goes to, well, just some more garbage everywhere. Like, look at all that garbage, man. Anyways, I think that'll about do it for this video. I'm just gonna floor it until we wreck this thing. And ooh, this is actually gonna be a pretty good wreck. Nice, got some flipping going. And can we merge with the environment? Yes, I am blending in now. Beautiful. Actually, some cool looking things over here. Got like these machinery bits and stuff. And I should mention, there are a lot of areas around here that you did not get to see because this place is such a big maze. So if you like exploring, you should probably check this out. Anyways, till next time, this is YBR. I'll see ya!